But those alarming numbers are expected to rise through the end of the year. The State Traffic Safety Commission just released their latest data, including cases of impaired driving. And during the holidays, it's worse than ever. And we've had so many people get hurt or killed this year because of it. Yeah, absolutely. And Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is taking a closer look at the report. And the biggest takeaway is that the deadly traffic crashes are just really soaring to levels we haven't seen in 25 years. Of the 600 deadly crashes in Washington this year, data shows more than half of them involve drugs and alcohol. We're seeing more, more of the behaviors that have always posed a risk of fatal crashes, just the frequency and number increasing. Just on November 7th, one person who was the passenger in a car was killed in Port Orchard. The driver arrested for suspicion of driving under the influence. Washington Traffic Safety Commission says the frequency of these unsafe driving behaviors have been surging since the pandemic. I think, you know, we all experience trauma through COVID and, and people react in different ways. So I think, you know, generally we're more concerned about people's behavioral health that includes substance use. And we've seen those issues um, become more uh, frequent and acute due to COVID and that has an impact on, on how people drive. State Senator John Levick, a former state trooper, says he remembers responding to calls like this and the devastating impacts for those involved. Levick says it's one of many reasons why he's proposing a bill to lower the legal blood alcohol level from 0 .08 to 0 .05. Utah was the first to initiate the rule in 2018. Levick says he hopes Washington is the second. People took more responsibility because they had a, they knew they were going to, they had a great chance of being stopped and arrested uh, for drunk driving. And that's what I hope uh, we can accomplish here. I'm not out to arrest more people. I'm out to make sure that people just don't drive when they are impaired. If 0 .05 becomes the standard, a man weighing 150 pounds would be considered legally drunk after two drinks. A woman would be at 0 .05 at about one and a half drinks. But Lovick says people don't have to wait for legislation to start practicing safe measures, especially during the holidays. Officials with the commission say have a plan to get home safely. You can uh, accompany a sober driver who will get you home safely. You can use rideshare or a taxi. Um, or you can um, find another place to sleep until you're uh, fit to drive. 